Lamila. Uh, before, before the break, we were talking about uh, how uh, after your conversation uh, on the evening of 10 May 2016, uh, you saw a group of paramilitary officers in a uh, pickup vehicle and they alighted at the pharmacy uh, in Sukuta on the 11th of May uh, 2016 and uh, you were quickly uh, asked to board the pickup and eventually Musa and uh, Mike were asked to disembark and uh, Ibrahim remained in the vehicle with the paramilitary officers. Kenimbi <laughs> Ibrahima kilen tuta muto nyi nkono. So now Ibrahima. Silang Ibrahima. Uh, what happened after Musa and Mike descended from the vehicle? Mwena nari na kebrim Musa ni Mike inatina wali jindi muto nyi nkono. Um, Bili Musa ni Mike jita yente sambale. After Musa and Mike uh, disembarked from the vehicle, they took me away. Did uh, they, at this stage, did they tell you? Uh, what your crime was, considering that you were gesturing to your neighbor who sat right opposite mm -hmm. you, asking him the question, what have I done? For a couple of water, for an arna sene malabang, it is a young muneke, for water men, the man will be more running on a seating, you see your dobe, but I will find a big car of money, muneke. And a man can all be a table and the Musani Majid to me like, oh, a cable of ma. Moye is a member sitting in your tumula, Kafai no muneke. Your photo will tembo in a tap for in the bank, it a yin kunin in Kukar leke, for for in the bank. Anni? No. A month, a month, a month, a coin dimma. Cat member in your tumula, or get a multi me along, come coming from Bella Cordam into Salaji. Nasu take a paramilitary officer. Well, the living Kaka, Kaka, I think, coming a muneke, but a moment danko. Because they didn't uh, tell me anything, and in fact, when I was gesturing to the guy sitting opposite me, he happens to be somebody who is my neighbor because we were all living around the same area in Salaji. But after I was gesturing to him, asking what have I done, in fact, he decided to look away from me, and nobody answered my questions, so uh, I was left like that. Yes. Where did they take you? Yes, I'm in Dole. Yes, I'm in Yama. That's how they took me away. Abo Sukuta, Bedam and Sukuta. From the place they picked me up in Sukuta. Nata for um, Tipagaras. We came all the way to Tipagaras. Then Itatana and in Maracarola. Itatana in Maracarola. They, they took the left turn. At our Manjai Mafam. Going towards Manjai. We not have a Manjai Johnson. When they reached the Manjai Johnson, uh, it it don't have Bulba Carola. They decided to take the right bend there. Katambi ani Manjai Police la. Going through the Manjai Police. Saying bend that that member ko mal face cam. Well, where I was sitting on board the vehicle, I was facing backwards inside the vehicle. Not on a na drive or doje me along called Mbedo Kola Dame SOS Children's Village. Then I saw a driver who happens to be somebody I knew because where I work at the SOS Children's Village, uh, Oketa Mustafa Altinga Sutil and Kambulo Mundi Manghani Bag, but in Kambulo Mundi Wulindi Ite. His name is Mustafa. So that's the time when I started to raise my hands for him. Then I, I, I started raising up my hands for him until when he saw me. I was afraid even to raise my hands up properly, but I just not raised my hands to him until he saw me. Bituma ate furu nyinkam ate falansa longko nadokud asafono nadokud latoko yomutale. 
I did that so that he can, in fact, inform the people where I walk and tell them that I have been arrested. This is how they took me away. For for example, for Kanifing. They took me all the way to Kanifing. for holy gum, while bulldozer. Where they call holy gum or the bulldozer. This so is the same premises you saw Ibrahim Ajom enter sometime uh, in the past. Exactly, it is this very place. And kindly tell us what happened when you arrived there. It was in the evening when we went in. So, when we were going inside, uh, when we reached the gate, na fonko guard sol taraje. We found some guards sitting around. They, some of them were standing with uh, rifles. When I alighted from the vehicle, then they asked me whether I have a mobile phone. I said, yes, I have a phone. They asked me to show them. Bring up bonding a dealer. Then I took out my mobile and handed it to them. What more than a mobile tire pack? They took my mobile and placed it somewhere. They told me nobody goes in here with a mobile phone. So they took me inside. When we went in, the building that Penku George erected is a self-contained, but the main hall is where they use as a office, as an office. So they took when we went in, they told me to sit down in the parlor. different police officers all security When I went in there, I saw different police officers. Some of them were armed with guns. Different police or security officers. Dolbije, all the police all let Dolbije, on that I understand, co prison officers all long. Some different security officers all long. They are from different security branches. Some of them were even prison police officers. Some mm. of them were armed with guns. Do you know the names of those you met there at that stage? O tembe na yemenu taraje, for most of them they were all long yeba. Me me dali me long ba o fo wati bola wati keta wato minna o tumo na ta long mukumasta ke ikilin kilin long dal doma doma. Initially at that stage I didn't know any one of them, but after some time uh, I started uh, knowing them one by one. But the long min nam futata. But the day that arrived, I arrived there. Na min tara saloto saloto fa. The person I found sitting in the parlor there. Na kejan do tara je kejan olom balate ko atemu ena e ena e officialita. I found introduce as an ena ena e officer. The tall guy I found sitting in the parlor introduced himself as an ena e officer. So do be je o mu prison officialiti. There was another guy who said he is a prison officer. But the mate told London. But I don't know their names. Yes. Among those you eventually uh, get to know who are they. Eh ko nyin kono ile taro nyin wa do nyin kono. Eh ina tana menu long nya nya foro nyin kono wolam jumalti. So in kabe wo keta be nda tana mili no wolle keta eh community law case be nyame. Uh, later on, the people I came to know as at our case was at that time. Bring young entertain Saloto. After I was made to sit down or entertain in the parlor. That was four uraro for fitiro fitiro. I was there until it was about to be dusk. One police inspector I am commanding now. One police inspector called me. At the Fernandala office room. He has his own office. I am Kumande Ntataje. He called me. I went in there. I know statement all time. He took my statement. I know statement. What's his name? Tolu. Uh, at the what you know, Allah Allah Nila Tatola, but police inspector all know. I really forgot his name, but he was a police inspector. Man, among about a combo, combo mafia all jam long for piran. Combo jam mafia all on the body. Inspector. He is around this combo area, whether it's piran or anywhere. I cannot remember exactly, but he's a police inspector. Because covering cold water and not as a Serakunda police. Because after the whole thing, I later saw him at the Serakunda police. So sign bring a end statement alter. After he took my statement, I come down and see the same place. Salo told me to go and sit at the same place in the parlor. So bring me here. 
I was sitting there. In Atuna, in the Urukna Rumo, me faced him. The room that I was facing. In Atuna, Nkumande J. Konoto. They called me inside that room also. Being Ndunta, when I went in, I'm Walter J. Police officer Walter J. I found some police officers there also. All from a lot of different police officers, all and different security men all. On the whole, they were also from different security branches. So you're you're welcome. They also welcomed me in there. And then me and you guys told them. Then I asked them their names. Nato na long konga kamban sutu mutara je kafu mi alpha bojang. I found a short man there called Alpha Bojang. Obe Omo immigration officer. That man uh, is an immigration officer. Nata Modo Taraje Kafa Babukar Singate. There was another one called Babukar Singate. Ofana Mo immigration officer. He is also an immigration officer. Only Nata to come off. They are the people who came to pick me up. So in New Orleans, but Anyola, it is in Taji and Sampan Kata Kata Musa pick. They are the people who took me so that we, we, to go and pick up Musa. And in Babukar Trawale. There was another guy called Babukar Trawale. Atefana Nata Alom, Yara Atefana is a leader within the investigation group. On the whole, he also is a leader among the investigators. Atefana Iko Afana Mufonko, immigration official. They said he also works for the immigration department. Nata na one guy fana meet J. Kafa Ibrahim Asisi. I met another guy there called Ibrahim Asisi. Ate Ibrahim Asisi ate Ika ate mu CID onte. Ibrahim Asisi happens to be from the CID branch. Nata na motora J. Fana Ika Kafa Iko Mbemba Bojang. Another person was there called Mbemba Bojang. So tomorrow, what we not have to introduce as a custom officer. A short guy who introduced himself as a man working from the customs department. So not enough for Moleko. Not enough for Nyeko. Then they told me. Nyeko Nyeko na keba fana mbijane. They told me our leader is here. Atijan sa imbari sambi baji la fintina. He has gone out, but very soon he will come back. He often he often introduce ya ko wale tomo Amadu Amadu Bojante. They told me his name is Amadu Bojang. Yeah. Did you get to see him eventually? Nyala ba onye inar na ofana ngela ba. Ha, but in fitiro tambita domani. Yes, after dusk prayers. Okay. Ah, fintita ngana ne. He came to me. Bring an automobile basiri. I was sitting there. Anata adunta. He came and went into the office. Aldo amang konto mfande. He didn't even talk to me or greet me. Adunta konoto. Bila adunta konoto. He went in. Ah, yankumandi na. He called me. When I was called, after a sitting, I found him sitting. He asked me, "Who are you?" I said to him, "Ibrahim." I said to him, "Ibrahim." He said, "I saw you are those people." I asked him, "Who? Which people?" You are the people who came from Sukuta. I tell him. I said yes. We are the people from Sukuta. But more than phone call, a masko ta, a masko ka, a masko ba nyadala. He was wearing masko ba nyadala lo biri ba terla jeba. Hani hani. Biri sisa sile masko ya abondi tablo ka ya dunga nyadala. After that short discussion with him, that was the time he took out the mask from the table somewhere and wore the mask on him. Were you? Was this after you? So his face. For you, get out. A cola, what am I saying? Yeah, that's it. A cola, then yeah, any maxoda, bunda, yeah, that's it. Ah, yes. So you were able to recognize him and identify him afterwards. I'm not going to go back. You're here, so today, is a Sunday no more. Have you been? Have you been all over Jamba, so today? Even today, if he stands here, I will recognize him. Can you give us a description of him? Allah, mo Allah, 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 Atede amanke woke jamba bati. He is not a very tall man. Or almost ala height sila fi futala two meter dal. He might be two meters tall. Two meters tall. Two meters is very tall. Two meters. Meter fula o jamba bati. Like maybe mother sita o two meter al domande. He is a little bit less than two meters. Adu mole mati mifana amau be. I am. I think 1.57. Okay. So two meters would be very high. So, Ani, Ani, the jump for the jump for the nyola. Kanya oni balola kanya because amanke o more waterman bad. Ani ndi masikanya. Ani 
Mr. Fall, te jam fala nyola ba. Mr. Fall is not a tall man. Alu fala amante amante moti ni alon ko his dark. Nga sute nga alon ba ke ninga je domba sute la. Amunda mampata balolem. Mampata balolo ate amadu boja. His color is in between. He is not dark, but he is not also a fair colored person. Do you know where about he came from? Yalan na bora mindola ba. Bota dame. Ah, na kacha kono je yara fang ika akab bota nyomile. Well, after some time in our discussions, I later realized that he is from Yomi. During my stay there, I came to tell him about some people whom I knew in Yomi who were soldiers before. Which, which part of the government was he working for? Abe dogola, abe dogola mazagunda mazagunda la bunda juma lo wadola. Ate amadu boja. Ate ngalong kodi iko ate lomu fungo bulldozer ni mbela kebat because ika kili captain boja. They called him captain boja and the what they told me was that he was the overall head of the bulldozer team at that place. But which institution was his parent body? Aka kama njia nika wale, abote security bunda juu malela, immigration, police, army. Ifa abota army lam, army officer lam. He was an army officer. All right. So, what happened after he put the mask over his head? Muna na rana ke bringa i maksoda ya bunda akumoda. Bringa i maskota ya bunda akumola. After he wore that that mask, I pistol or tilinda. He took out a gun and pointed it at me. And he asked me, do you know me? I said to me, I don't know you. Then he said to me, I am Amadou Boja. He told me, I am Yaya Jammes Killer. Because I must go to the By that time, he had already worn this pistol. He pointed his pistol at me. By that time, there was a Coca-Cola bottle on the table. He told me, I will kill you. I will kill you, I will kill you and put your blood in here. In, in where? He said he will kill him and put his blood inside that Coca-Cola bottle. Then he said to me, You are those type of mandinkas. He said to me, In fact, there's one thing which I don't understand. He said to me, I don't understand. President President Jawara Benunja. President Jawara was here. Ali Amutafia Alka Ali Anoma. You followed him. You agreed with him. Chang ya jamel be sitting. Now ya jamel is sitting. I'll tell you. I'll tell Mandin Kola. I'll tell Bula Anoma. So you Mandinka said that you will not follow him. Aka akonya ko bad ninge muta. Akonya ko ninge muta. He said he said to me, but if I deal with you, nimbulo la teka. If I deal with you, when you blow that, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see regret. Muna na yulu tafam. If I handle you with my hands, you will regret the day you were born. Yeah. Mhm. And what happened after that? Muna na na kio kola. Biro, biro oketa. After that, sign. And after that, phone yako puru nga nga na statement oldi. Then they told me to give my statements. Saying, I can only go for okay. Tasi banta, tata si banta follow. Initially, told me to go and sit down outside. So, blue botala. After that, he tell Babka traveling all. He orders Babka traveling and orders Alpha Bojang. Alpha Bojang. Thank you, Babka Singate. And Babka Singate. Ibrahim Sisi. Ibrahim Sisi. Inati na kumande. They called me. Wata atefa. Inati na na finti. Because at that time he had already gone out. So bring me a After that, ole ni ninka. They asked me. Iko ni mune keta nu. They asked me what has happened. Iko iko ngaku ngabe sate. Iko iko mbe kachala nu. Iko mi nimpa jalo lebe kachala. Ole nata interan na dlato. Then I narrated the whole scene to them and I told them it was Pajalo who came and after controlling wali alu mune be kerimba. Then he asked to ask us, do you know what's happening? He said to me, "You don't know what's going on." 
demonstrate on uh, uh, Westfield. He said to us there are people demonstrating at Westfield. Koi koi solo sandeng fale. Because in the the word going around is that they have already killed solo sandeng. So I it at a konye ko. Then they said to me. Konye ko bariye kumado for me fanam manke wote. They said to me, but you said something else different from that. Because the way we are sitting here, we got news about you. And then the person who brought this news to us recorded all what you said. I said to them, yes, what I said at that place is what I said here. I said, but if you had really recorded our conversation, I'll record or play, I'll play that recording here and so that we can listen to it. As the time I looked on the table, I saw uh, some papers there which were stapled together. He said to me, then it is not worth for us to play that. A recording for you. But he Ali he inyanta he tili mole do it kumovo kote ko he afun tili le kofanam ko altul be mole kono milialon ko altul le pareta kakude ta ke Gambia. He told me what we want is for you to come straight and tell us the truth about what you said because you are the people who wanted to organize a coup in this country. Nkai ko nkai ko untol manke o mole ting nkai ko untol ngamim fo e janten tili ole fo. I said to him, we are not that, that type of people. What I said here is what we were discussing. That's the time. They, tell, they told me to go and sit down and wait for them. We were waiting. Around 9, 10. Till around 9 to 10. They told me about Musa. They, tell, they told me that we are going with you until we are able to locate Musa's uh, 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 I told them I'm with Musa. They said, okay, we will go together with you and go and pick Musa. That's the time when we went to pick up Musa at his home. We picked Musa and we told all the way to bulldozer with him. What time did you arrive there? Bulldozer. Yeah. 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 When I arrived at Bulldozer, uh, they told me to sit down in the parlor. So I do not condo. Within five minutes, they went in. But within five minutes, they called me. Come on, They told me to come and sit down, and I went in and I sat down. Amal Bojan Beje. Amal Bojan was there. Babkatawale Beje. Babkatawale was there. Ibrahim Asisi Beje. Ibrahim Asisi also present. Uh, Alpha Bojan Beje. Alpha Bojan was present. And in Bemba Bojan. And Bemba Bojan. Bemba Bojan ala ala ate ate mwakwe baki yele. Bemba Bojan, truly speaking, he helped us there. Uh, because? Because? Ibe Furante wa Waromen. By the time they reached me, I had already performed ablution so that I can pray the night prayers. It, it was some minutes to twelve. It was some minutes to twelve. So midnight. Uh, no, midnight. Midnight. midnight, midnight yeah. Yeah. Ah. So lovers salla. I wanted to pray. Na la son ni na efimo ro play to jere efimo ni. So my son was looking at the Tom and Jerry film. I said, let me just watch this for five minutes and later pray. Then that was the time when they knocked on my door. So, come in. I said, come in. I said, who is that? Ibrahim Asisi was the first to come in. But it told them what they made in uniform. But all of them were not in uniform. 
He said to me, uh, Fofana, it is us uh, from the bulldozer. Maybe 10, 15 minutes. He told me, well, we are here to pick you up and take you away. Maybe 10 to 15 minutes. We are going to question you and then we will release you to come back. I asked them, where are we going to? They said, no, we are just going to somewhere. I said to them, well, it's only my children who are here because my wife has gone to Jara. They, she went to attend their Quranic recitation which they do in their compound. Well, my adopted child was the guy, was the person who was a little bit older. I told them if they can forgive me till tomorrow, they said no. Then I said to my adopted child, Sajo, he said yes. I told him to call Sute, my wife, and tell her that. The bulldozer people are here to pick me up. Whatever happens to me, she should, you should, she should know that it is the will of Allah. So This is how I went out. So I put my mobiles under the cushion of the chair. They said to me, do you have mobiles? I said yes. They said, bring it. Then I went and picked up my two mobile phones. They took them from me. Then we went out of the compound. Our landlord's wife and his cousin, elder brother's wife. I think they are just from their cousin brother's compound and they are coming back home. And then I found them talking outside. And she asked me, Musa, what has happened? I said to her, ah, these are the bulldozer people. Then the lady addressed one of them and said, well, my brother, this man's wife has traveled, she's not around. What has happened? They said to her, well, uh, uh, nothing has happened. We are just taking him away. We will just question him and release him to come back. So another kid of an idea. Then that's the time uh, I later saw Keta. So now from Ablamuroko and Blamuroko. Yes, told me to embark on the vehicle, then I, I boarded the vehicle. Tata. We went. When we reached, they told me to sit down in the parlor. I sat down. Later on they called me in and I went in. Ibrahim is a commander statement, sir. Ibrahim is a said, let me write my statement. I said to him, what statement? He said to me, you know what you did, write it. Himself and Babakar Trawale. I said to them, what have we done? We have a right to talk. What have we done? So, Ara Ahmad Fawbeji. By that time, Amadou himself was there. Amadou who? Amadou Boja. What was Amadou in that team? Amadou, Amadou, was, the commander. Commander. Amadou was their commander at that time. What what was he was a captain. He was a captain. Uh, can you give us a description of this Amadou Boja? Amadou, for example, I was here on the phone. 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 Amadou, how I saw him? Maybe I scale a big a big different domain. He might be a little bit taller than me. A ball also on him. And he might be a little bit heftier than me. And out of queer finta cream. He's somebody who has a very uh, uh, very serious face and he is dark in complexion. Very wicked. I mean I don't know. Even if you look at his face, you will know that he is a very wicked man. He told me, if we are going to kill people, we will start with you. Because what you said, if that happens, then there will be a coup d'etat in this country. You are going to topple Yaya Jammeh's government. He said, we people here, 
You are older than all of us here, but you are the biggest liar here. You Mandinkas are very bad. Especially UDP supporters. Especially you UDP supporters. Even the lawyers in this country, half of them are all opposition members. We don't speak the truth and they don't like the Jamaican government. He said, when, if we are going to kill people, we will start with you. Then he went out. So at this stage, did he cover his face? He said, I'm going to bring up the day. No, he didn't cover his face at that time. But when he returned back, that was the time when he wore a mask. At that time, I think be wore a mask. There was a black pipe uh, uh, on the wall. Babuka Babuka Travale took up that pipe. So he will be uncovered. All these other guys surrounded me. I was in their middle. He was standing over me. Who was standing over you? Who was standing I pipe water. He took that pipe. I liver and started beating me. Who did that? Male, okay. Babka trawale. Babka trawale. Nkomba gula gudi nyor. If I want to get up, they will push me down. And who will push you down? Nkomala ke nyor ke dete duma. Nkomba gula. Ibrahim Asise. Ibrahim Asise. Alpha Bojang. Alpha Bojang. Babakar Singhate. So Babakar Travale was the guy beating me. At this stage, where was Abadu Boja? 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 I know because when he went out after Babuka Travale pipe was cigar, after when Babuka Travale took up the pipe, in the old Kartra number Tema, these older people came and uh, 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 surrounded me. Basing at the Lipala. I was sitting down when this guy was beating me. Most of about twenty to twenty five minutes. Twenty to twenty five minutes. Sometimes I estimate one another. I it's an estimation. I I I didn't time it. So later on, I suffered from a very serious headache. At this stage, where was Ibrahim? Fukabula ni tembe na ni Ibrahim atele. Ibrahim sisi. This Ibrahim Keita. Ibrahim Keita. No, no, atete je. Tolebe sala le sala don. Tete damalo kono. He was not there. I think they were in the palo. I was the only one with these people inside. Because they found out for they don't cooperate. They couldn't do cooperate alone. They don't understand. They told lies because they said I didn't cooperate with them, and these others cooperated with them. This is why. Go out of our mind. I'll be on fire about the hundred and ten thousand. I told them, well, whatever is the case, you will kill me, but I will write anything. Go because more fake, more fake, more fake. I told them because I didn't do anything. So can you borrow the number of people who are fooling you? 
when I felt the pain intensely, I decided to, to pull the pipe from this guy's hand. I told him, my last younger brother can beat you. So when they realized that I am very angry, I, uh, I pulled the pipe from this man's hand and threw it away on the wall. So Brian said, Then Brian said, Fufana, Fufana, sit down. Then I decided to sit down. Then he said, Now I will write all your statement. I said, What I said. I, what, I, what I say is what you are going to write, but what Ibrahim John said is all a lie. He said, I am the UDP intelligence man. I am the person who goes round. Even in the provinces to, to and Nyomi and other areas, I am the person who goes round there. He said it doesn't know whether it was the UDP who was sponsoring me. I am the person who said that when the president is going for the farmer's store, is going for the farmer's store let people come out. Even if they are going to kill everybody, they cannot kill the whole country. So that we can topple the government. So uh, 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 boss Amad Boyang, that's why their boss Amad Boyang said that if they are going to kill people, I am going to be the first person that they will kill. He said to me, Fofana. Do you know Bakausu? Bakausu. Fofana. Bakausu Fofana. I said to him, he's my grandson uh, because he's mo I am his mother's uncle. Because uh, his mother is our elder sister. I asked him, what is it? He said he stayed at our village at Masembe himself and his father. Plus his mother. Because of that, I have pity on you. I had those people in Masembe. When you beat them, they don't feel it. I was aware of the beating. He said to me, because at 3 o'clock, Amadou will give orders. As, as he said, we will take you people to the cemetery. He said he, will, he himself will kill you people or he will give us orders for us to kill you. So, so proceed, proceed. Then he wrote his own statement. Because I made my interest for Allah. Because what he wrote is not my uh, my statement. I am no. I don't have any interest in it, and I even didn't see it. They said I am a stubborn person. I don't uh, uh, cooperate with them. They said I am older than all of them there, but I am somebody who has no respect, and I am a rude person. So he said, so this time I mentioned when that time comes, Ahmad will come, he will dress himself like a ninja. And what he said, you will see him and the way and when you see him, you will see him as somebody who is drunk. So Walter at the time he wrote that statement, he said, okay, go. I came to the main parlor to sit down there. During the beating, did you sustain any injuries? Uh, so you what I made a sign. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it was in 2016. The beating was very severe. In fact, on my head, there were swellings uh, uh, which appeared on my head. 
After I found a number of the gentleman, the brother bulldozer. And in fact, after that, I suffered greatly before we left bulldozer. What I want to move it, Tara, very, very orange, Tara. Well, if somebody is standing at a distance away from you, I can see that there is a person, but I will not be able to recognize this person, whether a male or a female. Because I don't know what the problem was, but I was suffering from very severe headaches. Did they hit you on the head? Yes, on my head. They were just beating, he was beating mainly on my head. So, uh, Ibrahim, yes? while you were sitting there in the parlor and he was taken inside, did you get to or know what was happening to him inside? Ibrahim, what women had to be seen in Salo de Jada Bukono de Jay? For in honor and alone the bomb, Munabe, the Munaka Kamalan, what women had to be Konova. Ah, now Kalamuka, to the Banta Moment and Kamweleko, Iba, Alapila, Kapaipo, Mole, Iba, Lapila. Yes, when I was sitting there, I, I, I realized that they were beating him because I was not going to be able to do it. I'll continue to lapite. I'll continue to lapite. I heard him saying to Babukar, I, I, you people, why are you beating me? You are beating me. I heard uh, the horse pipe they were using to beat him. At this, at this stage, were you beaten at all? If you were to be able to do it, you would have to be able to you know what I said before initially when I went in they didn't beat me. Not a fintina covering up and kai ko the man man so man so ko alien record le. Well I came out and I told him that I don't agree that you recorded us. So another na for you ko ila statement or another statement or na 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 afo ay na afo ay min kita na afo ay ko nimpa jalo le besiri. Then he asked, me, he asked me my statement. I said, okay, I will narrate it to you. Then I narrated my statement to him, telling him that I was there sitting with Pajalo. That was the time when he told me to go outside and sit down there and wait for him. Because I know that Musa was beaten because he was shouting and he was saying to them, Why are you beating me? Why are you beating me? Are you are beating me like this. I had that. So I How did you feel? Me, the, the, the beating. Let's, let's take it sequentially. Okay. Now, How did you feel sitting there knowing that you are friend and colleague was being tortured. Uh, yes, I was given the opportunity to speak so, uh, Musa, what happened after you were taken out? No, 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 Musa. Very few in the banda. Very few in the banda. When I was taken out, we were all sitting down outside. Salo to the Messiri wall. In the main parlor, that's where we were sitting. Me and Keta, because what do I pay? Jallo man na follow. Myself and Keta, but Jallo has not yet arrived. So, buddy. She said, "Me for the next club at time will come." But what she said told me, I was, that time was in mind. Be young, I'm more than a man. When I had the vehicle coming, I think it's Amaru Amaru Bojang that finds her now. I saw Amaru Bojang coming in. Be sure lah. He was shouting. Come far from far away, long time. She said, "Me for." He was angry. He appeared very angry. Then I remembered what she said. said <laughs> then, <laughs> now, I knew that this man is not, I knew that this man is not all uh, uh, himself now. He has either smoked cannabis or he drank uh, he, he, he drank some alcohol or he drank some pills. So He said let them put Pickaxes and uh, spades. spades inside the vehicle. At this, who was he saying that to? Above Fokan Nunjumale. Above Fokan Nindole, Babukat Trawale. was addressing that, that to others like Babukat Trawale. Ibrahim Asise. Ibrahim Asise. Babukat Sinate. Babukat Sinate. Alpha Bojang. Alpha Bojang. 
Because he was uh, addressing those people. Because Mbemba, because Mbemba, remember, Mbemba really helped us there. Since my first arrival there, is a person who told me that. He told me that, uh, well, three o'clock, these people are going to kill you. But don't uh, tell anybody that I am the guy who informed you. Because if they know that I am the person who told you this, they might kill me myself or do something very dangerous to me. The reason why he told me that was because when he saw me, he was surprised. He asked me, Fofana, where are you from? I said to him, I'm from Jara Sankuya, but I'm resident at Bakote. That's where I was staying in my uncle's compound. He said to me, I also live at Bakote, but I live around the bowl. I said to him, Bakote Bohol, he said yes. I said to him, I have a friend, an age mate who stays there with his white wife, a white woman called Sute Fofana. Well, I told him, in our relationship, he is my son. Because he's from the same compound with Bakaosu. Mr. Chair, may I just ask for two minutes to short something out and then we'll proceed. Just two minutes. Or oh, even please. one, Mr. Chair. Just yes, please. Yes, thank you. Sorry about that, Mr. Chair. Um, you were telling us about Babu Kartrawale. Babu Kartrawale, of Mola Fokanya. You've mentioned him several times. Yard four for Jan Sinya Jama. Can you describe him? For his amour, Amul Danyatan, four no more, Munyonya did him. Babu Kartrawale, Kefulam is a person dark in complexion. I jam for He is a little bit taller than me. I balance around you, Domani. And he is heftier than me. I know I don't want me. I think, I think he's, uh, he's a policeman. When going towards Latricula, the third road that appears behind a official, police post there was a police post there. Uh, what were, two years ago, I think this, this was two years ago, I think that's where he was posted. There was a day when I was going to walk. Serkuna uh, Marse, the market at Serkuna. Nina receptionist or do pitaka Omar. I was going with one of our receptionists called Omar. No, no pitaka. I was going with him. Na mita bande asuje junale. Well, then we met, but I recognized him at an early stage when I saw him. Because me dressed me lunga, then man realized kontrabote do ko aman suje. 
Because the dress I wore, he didn't realize that it is me. He didn't recognize me. But, when we met, the, my, my, the other guy called him. He is from London Corner, and that person I was going with also was staying at London Corner. He, 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 he gave him his hand, and they shook hands. When he pointed his hand to me, I looked in his eyes. And you drunk? I felt it. When he saw me, he felt guilty. Okay, Musa, man. Then the other guy said, Musa, what's it? I said to Musa, I said to my friend, ask him. Let's go, ask him. I said to him, what Bunjang said? There is a day. So no water. Then we left. If I look behind me, well, I thought I thought I thought our eyes will meet. Well, we took some distance, he asked me, bro, what has happened? I said to him, I'll let her tell you. Because, because, because at that time, when I was in fact in this problem, I was working with some Moroccans. The, 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 I was working at one restaurant. I was the cashier and supervisor at that restaurant. So, that's where I happen to meet a lot of government workers. But who let's, go there. Back, let's go back to that day when mm -hmm. you were being tortured. Mm -hmm. And uh, this gentleman told you that at 3, p at 3 a.m., uh, Amadou Bojang is going to come and kill you or will instruct others to kill you. And later you had Amadou Bojang uh, telling the guys to put the pickaxes, pickaxes, pickaxes and the and the servers inside the vehicle. At this stage, where was Pa Alassan? Oh, Tem oh what was that? Allah Pa Alassan, at the time of the day, it was around 2 towards 3 a.m. It was around 2.30 towards 3 in the morning. Before the fall May 12th. This can be, uh, uh, it was, I can say it was in, on the day of May 12th. What's after 12, huh? Because it was after midnight. So, for no kera. So, daybreak. I don't know about it, but after midnight, okay. I'll come back. Okay. 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 So, at this stage, Pa Alassan has not been brought here. No. So, then, the man Pa Alassan not to follow. Ibrahim, where were you at this time, at 3 a.m. or thereabout? Ibrahim, it has been in the middle, eh? On the 12th. Karo kill tama ni mfula, montoro wati eh... Mbe siri nsiti ya rumo ato utumo? I was sitting at the sitting room. Kosi nka lanu, mbe, nka ulu mkwa nka laje, nka laje le sitting room wanyi nkona. That's where we spend the night, in the sitting room down there. Did you hear Amadou Bojan when he arrived? Wee, Amadou Bojan, ina tuna kuma moya so, moya atu laba, mbiringa fura laba. What did you hear him say? Hiye muna moya abime mfoka, ate Amadou Bojan. Kabira anata, when he came? Anata ni... When he came, he was walking fast. And he was also shouting. That's how he is talking to He called Ibrahim Sisi and others. Alpha Bojan. Alpha Bojan. He told them to pick shovels and pickaxes on board the vehicle. Then I remembered what they said. I said, on the whole, this is true. That this night they will take us away and kill us. When well, Mbemba informed Musa about this, Musa also told me. So we were all thinking of that. So when he came in that manner, so Kumata Mfaye, hey, be okay, but I'm pare with I'm falling. I said to myself, well, today is the day. Let's be prepared. These people are really, they are going to kill us. Yeah. And then what happened after that? Munna na ke okola. Musa, Ibrahim, 
Minar Minar Nake. What happened later? It happened in the Dundi Motokono. They made us board that vehicle. Oh, 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 double cabin only. That double cabin pickup. Dunda Jay Yame. The way we went in, then Musabe double cabin ola or the cabin le corner. We were, uh, we were made to sit the inside the double cabin. The passenger back. cabin. The, the passenger cabin. Yes, the passenger cabin. That's where we uh, sat. The passenger side of the, the cabin. The passenger side of the cabin. Mm -hmm. Behind the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. We are behind the driver's seat. Okay. So we are sandwiched. And we were sandwiched. Uh, Babukar Tawale Beteng. Babukar Tawale was on one side. Tema. Myself and Musa were and in the Alpha room. Be other side. And Alpha was sitting on the other side. So we were on Qatar. So when we were going, it was time more slap than drunk. Come, come to know Musa. They were slapping us all the way going. And to know Musa, la ba wala fo, to know in dimin ne fo. The way they were slapping us, it was really painful. My ear really pained me. To know in dimin around for two weeks, ni onfa somo la to know mang sumaya. And it took me almost two weeks. I was suffering from that pain on my in my ear. In Samba, when you are my full body coat, you are on holy gum in body coat, man, jam for you. They took us all the way to the cemetery. You know, Hogam is not far away from the cemetery. At this stage, where was Ahmadu Boja? In Tebben, Ahmadu Boja, at the Bimbi Dole. At the Ahmadu Lebe Moto Nyato. He was the man sitting in front of the vehicle. Did he know that you were being slapped? Aini lola ngo ikitaka kalkulo fadi lava. Atolebe atolebe nteli nyato directly ayalon ya karamuta. He is aware because he was sitting directly in front of us. Did he say anything? Oh, I kumasa lola ba mimi fuba. Amau kumafu, amau kumafu. He didn't say anything. Did he stop it? Ana na kwa nyumba bula lava. Ani amau amau fu yuko ala bula alkani lapi amau bula amau amau fu. He didn't stop them. He didn't tell them to stop between us. Musa, you were sitting directly behind Amadu, correct? Musa ebe siri amadu kwa makodi. The the driver was it? Bauka chawa wa yu driving nte bo koma. Okay, driver. Okay. Bauka chawa was driving. I was sitting. Abe driver wale koma. I was sitting next to the driver. Amadu be driver bara. Amadu was sitting next to the driver and I was sitting behind the driver. Do you know for certain that Amadu knew that you were being slapped? Very well. Very well. I know that we have to look at some, to look at some more. No, because he was hearing the slabs that they were. After that, the American people are being very far left. They are not talking about the correct. And the slapping was going on with talking. They will tell. They went on telling us, "We are going to kill you today. Nobody will ever see you people today again." Did Amadu say anything against you or towards you? So, Amadu, kumasa na labai mifo, kuala kuoto bang mema langu abal abal dunal ba waranda kumasa mema langu abal kela le de marangu tiba la karol. Amadu sio vao mukuna kuoto, upuka diam. Amadu didn't say anything. Kwa waro na nani shabuka? Amadu is a wicked man. He didn't say even a single word. Very wicked. So then, what happened when you arrived at the cemetery? Silamu na na kabila fura da baadhi kuoto kaburu. Ara mask bara, so kabila yuko na jinjira. He was wearing a mask. Who was wearing a mask? Yamale yamale. Amadu boja la pistol babulu. Amadu boja was wearing a mask and he was having a pistol. Akoka ya bunda yele. He told the guys to open the doors. Wala mo. Ibrahim, Ibrahim Sisi. That's Ibrahim Sisi. Babuka chawale. Babuka chawale. Bemba, Alpha boja. Alpha boja. Singare, Babgar Singare, and Babgar Singare, and Babgar Chawale, and Babgar Chawale. And Babgar Chawale. Eka but bunda we sorry ni. They say to him, but the doors are locked. Which doors? Mario ko bunda. The the cemetery doors were locked. The gate of the Kanifin South Cemetery. Exactly. That's how you were taken. Kanifin South la bade ko ni. Yes. Ah. So ko gale bunda kati. He told them to break down the doors of the cemetery. Anawa for no allo, I last for for now for the day that I tried him coaching and I told him that for you will find your answer. He told them, well, wait, wait. I will give orders so that we can break down the doors and you can just kill them and throw them in the pits like dogs. And Ibrahim, Ibrahim, what did you hear, Babukar? Amadu, sorry, Amadu Bojang say during that period, whilst you were descended from the vehicle. It is muna mo Amadu Bojang mimfo watu mene yaljindi ni mutoro kono kumakamwa mimfo. I'm only in the moment now. Kafu moleleko. When we were made to alight from the vehicles, what he was saying was, 
said, if there is anything, you are going to say your last words. Today is going to be your last day in this world. That was the time when he talked to Musa. What did he tell him? I'm for Musa. I mean for Musa, Komusa Eko, Itefon, Ibe, Mbe Minkela Sai, Mbe, Itefolo Fala. What he said to Musa was that, well, what we are going to do is, we will kill him first. Akai Bari, Mbe, Nyobundayele. I said to him, well, when we open the door, you will go and dig your own grave. After you dig your own grave, we will put you inside the grave and kill you there. From there, we will come to Ibrahim. And uh, uh, that's what you were told, Musa? Musa, you were told. He said to me, Musa said to me, I was told, he said to his guys, Musa will go and dig his grave. If he turns to come towards us, I will kill him like a dog. We just take him and throw him inside the, their grave. Well, Allah is our witness. That's what he said. So, he said to them, all, before that, in fact, before you break the door, let him say his last words. He said to me, Fofana. He said, time is up. Say your last word. I wanted to run away. But if I run away, he will kill me. Guy captain, I said to him, Captain. I said to him, I, am, I heard this from you, but I didn't hear it from Allah. I call you Fofana. He said to me, Fofana. But you are a stubborn person. No more live in Fala. Go. My people beat you uh, to, uh, up to the point of nearly you nearly died. And Simon Song. Until now you are still stubborn. You, where do you come from? Which Fofana from? Where do you hail from? Because I know that he's from Yomi. Then I knew that that is the time when I knew that Allah has come. I said to him, I am from Jara. Sankuya. Sankuya. Then he said, I must go Then that's the time when he took off his mask. He took out a bullet from his gun, from his pistol. He told his people to leave the door. I told, he told his people, if I kill this man, they will kill me. And if uh, anything happens here, well, uh, everything will be good. If I... If he kill Ibrahim Aketa, this man will reveal everything to the world. Because if he, if he release this man and kill Keta, this man will uh, uh, betray us and reveal what has happened. He said now, Killing, uh, we've decided to, to, to cancel the killing. Alhamdulillah. And I said, thanks to Allah. I said to him, so you have canceled the killing? He said, yes. He said to me, my bantamit. He said to me, now go and look for lawyers. We will make sure that we will jail you people for life. Uh, that also I told him I had it from you, but not from Allah. He said, ah, I said, yes. He said, between Nyomi and Jara, I said, yes. Okay. He said, okay. Uh, Ibrahim. Ibrahim. 
Did you hear this conversation? Nkuma kama nyinyi watu wame na vitambi kani Musa ni nyinyi tema ya mwele ba? Ntulo wala mbelori Musa mbelori I was listening I was there I was standing Ala kumo be mwele I heard all what he was saying Ntulo wala mbelori dame njedro Where I was at that instant Ntulo wala mko kumi libo tanu Musa afara droi binantele kama What I thought was that after they kill Musa they will come to me and kill me too Adun kukili mbije kabri mbita kama bade kokto And one thing when we were going towards the cemetery Kabri in sandwich when we were salvaged, when we came all the way near the cemetery, the thought that came to me was my mind went to my last child. Uh, my mind was permanently on that boy. I said to myself, well, these people are going to kill us. I cannot say anything else, but that day was really a hard day for us. Uh, how did you feel when he said that they are putting off the killing? Sign the green, I don't know if you sign for a new year by the way. I can't say anything. I'm going to say that 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 because they were having all these uh, tools with them. The, what they can use to kill us. Uh, so later on when he said that he has cancelled the killing. I was there, but, but I was really uh, 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 puzzled, of course. I was worried, yes. So I was also in a hurry so that we can leave the cemetery area. And uh, how did that happen, leaving the cemetery area? So, I think killing killing I am Kumandi 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 no, I'm on blockchain. No, we were not handcuffed. I'm on blockchain. Uh, Musa, were you handcuffed? Musa, I didn't know. No, no, honey. No, I was not handcuffed. And what happened when you went back to bulldozer? Sila muna na na ke bring al ni murda bulldozer lao si dingiraro. Kaya yung fwa bulldozer ambe, jetman o wali ka sikerse lo. When we arrived at bulldozer, when we were approaching the gate uh, with the security people who were there, the founder of Zalko also price sale. Then I observed that these people were surprised. Because when they had the vehicle, they all turned and looked at us. I looked at them and I said to myself, really? These people on the whole, they kill people here. Because Kanifis are full of deputy imam. Because Kanifis imam, uh, uh, I used to hear he uh, talks over the radio at that time. So after another, after his uh, case, then that was the time when our case came up. Then I realized that truly, you look at you look at more far. These people used to kill people. So all that are the security people opened the gate. Then the people were coming to the gate. That's how we went in. The security people opened the gates. Then the people were coming. That's how we went in. But coming, blah, more than a bad economy. But when we boarded the vehicle at the cemetery and when we were coming back, Amadou Fonkalna Maltala Kumbejimire. Amadou himself, I think he was ashamed because his head was bent. Nundawanyama. Yeah, this is how we went in. From there, in our park, in Jira Morokono. Then we all alighted from the vehicle. Then he left us and went to his office. Well, when he bends his head and he's walking, you will think that he's a bull who is, which is going. Because You look at him and think that this man is not really correct. How can you look at, his, look at a person and tell him that I'm going to kill you? So After all that, in the morning, Basically, you are there. 
No, I cannot remember where we ate. What I knew when daybreak, when it was daybreak, it was that was the time they brought uh, uh, half bread and butter. They called us and said, let's go and have breakfast. Were you the only two detainees at home? At, at Holgam bulldozers at this time? Oh, what will I do? Move run the move to the Mian and Cartel of the Moroccan or Jevon bulldozer. Oh, what will I do? What will then? No more do the Mimbe Sero Mimbe in Ubulumutarin. Well, there was someone else who was uh, under custody, but I remember a woman criminal old to die. But I think that Pazil uh, is a criminal. A young old thing. A tall guy. A Burung Amraka Suyaroke. I think that man uh, steals, used to steal all his thieves. We're coming near like if they bring him there, when they release him, before a week they'll bring him back. I had that there being said. When we were there, we were there. What we usually witness at night is that usually they will go out. And when coming back, they will come with a lot of people who they will bring into the place there. Okay. So that second day, mm -hmm. uh, were you the only two people there, or did they bring somebody else with regards to your case? Okay. The second day. Yes. I think Pajalo was brought this the following day. I think Pajalo was brought the following day. Pajalo not They brought Pajalo there. Mm. And what happened when they brought Pajalo? When they brought Pajalo, they brought Pajalo. I think Pajalo was brought the following day. I think Pajalo was brought the following day. Just as I went with them to go and collect Musa, I think the same thing happened to Musa with them to go and pick up Pajalo. Musa, did you go with them to pick up Pajalo? Yes, they said to me, let me go with them so that I can show them where Pajalo lives. Yes, they said to me, let me go with them so that I can show them where Pajalo lives. I can show them where Pajalo lives. I said to them, no, I will not go because I don't know the place. That was the time when they started talking to me. They sat by me and said, Musa, stop that, let's go, just show, show us the place where he lives. I said to them, well, I don't know his home. When we go, it will be in vain because I don't know where he lives. And truly speaking, at that time, I didn't know where he lives. What he used to tell me is I live around the coastal road toward, around the new mosque when going towards Yundum. That's the area where I live. That's what he just told, tells me. So Kongata. They said I should go with them. I said, okay, let's go. So I I I bought the pickup. Tara, you went. But you come back on your mat or will I come to go to your But these people behave like madmen because the way they drive, no more of one like full speed car. They always run at top speed. I want to force that I just want to go to the house. Because in the end, I became fearful for my life because near that man, Johnson, a little bit. We were about to have an accident there. Ah, taxi driver, put a candle for overtake la. The uh, taxi driver was going, and they wanted to overtake him because oh, oh, man, long. Because that man didn't oh, know that. Very, only both for trouble la. He, he didn't give them the way. In fact, they nearly brought a problem for him. So Tara, Tara, only now in full speed. That's how we went. They were going at full speed. Tara for Sukura. We went all the way to Sukuta. When we passed the garage near the mosque, 
Ita bunjam killing. Uh, after one story building, bunjam flowing down on your right. After the second story building on the right, ita me wale ka konyo so ita me konyo la koram bije cham kunante bolo. After that second junction, there is a junction and the compound called Cham Kunda. That's where I was living. Doctor Farma Pharmacy Bolo. And that's where Doctor's Pharmacy was also located. So Pabi, na bora shukura na 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 intra atala kasi mfeje. So when Pajalo comes and uh, passes by and finds us brewing China green tea or attire, that's where he usually sits with us. But at that time, he was not aware that we were already arrested. So when we were coming, I saw him get up from the compound gate and he was going away. So I think that Babka Sarawani, Ibrahim John be communicating. So at that time, Babka Sarawani was communicating with Ibrahim John. Be Babka Sarawani bala. I was sitting next to Babka Sarawani. Na Ibrahim John kau sudah kafa pabie dress men dua ka esplanade. I heard Ibrahim John's voice describing the shirt that Pajalo wore. Because a very bad man, he sits in his house, lock his door. Because his door is a metal door, but it has glass somewhere around the door. That's where he sits to peep outside. And this old man is a very lively man when he sits with us, he chats with us, laughing all the time. So maybe I So I think he heard that man's voice. Then I think that's the time he called the man and told him that this old man going away is the very man. He told them, he asked them, who are you with inside the vehicle? They said to him, Musa Fofana. He told them, Musa Fofana will not cooperate with you. Just follow the man as I described him. Follow him. He described the type of dress that the old man was wearing. It was a, 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 a white gown. White uh, hat plus uh, white scarf. We are in for Koyma. Dark brown, dark. Ah, uh, dark brown. brown. Okay, dark brown. Both shirt, trouser, scarf, and hat. So when you fall for, you go and move away. You go and move, go and move. They asked me for for. Really, you don't know this man. I said to them, I haven't seen him. And who are you? Where did I meet him? And by that time, he was talking. They were communicating on the phone. I can't find. I have no number. I'll see you tomorrow. He was saying to the guys, just take the road, just follow the road, follow him. He went all the way to the uh, place where they used to split woods, uh, just by the si roadside. After passing that place, if you go a little bit further, you will uh, come to a story building where the Sarahulis have their mosque. These people are really bad. We went all the way until when they, look, when they saw this old man, just like if the old man is like this. He drove the vehicle all the way up to next, just very close to the old man. So can you do it? Okay, Pabi Mola, okay, Elm Pabi, Nabita, Jama, Bukas, Lifla. And old man, so many people knew him. So sometimes when he's walking, people will give him a lift. So some people told him that, well, your people are just by your side. He was laughing and said, well, my people are here. He just got hold of the door. They opened the door for him. Then Keta said to him, Oh, Pabi, are you going home? They said to him, Okay, let's go. We will take you. He sat down on board the vehicle. They said to him, Pabi, I don't know. Then when the vehicle was 
I said to him, I called you before, but you didn't answer. But he said, yeah, well, when I saw these people, I, I became suspicious. Um, I don't understand them. So this is why when you called me, I was unable to hear you. So I found the car traffic light. They pretended that if they were going towards the traffic lights, it I it I don't mind. You are not going to say motor say space or push the car from. So after they went for some time and they got space where they can turn around, turned are very quick. They turned very quickly, but on full speed, and they uh, went into full speed. So Fabio is sitting on a couch. The part, the old man was sitting and he shook his head. I think that was the time when he became suspicious. Then I questioned him. Can you admit that you can't find a man to sit on a jam or a couch? Then I realized that maybe this man is angry, so there is no need for me to talk to him anymore. So in that way, now four for a bulldozer. This is how we went all the way to bulldozer. After they alighted, I also alighted. Then the old man also alighted from the vehicle. At the time he looked at me and said, "Ah, Musa, all the whole year we are here." I said. To him, I said to him, "I called you several times, but you didn't answer." He said, "Well, I don't understand these people. In fact, I didn't hear your calls." So in that way, I'm from Saloro. This is how we went until we entered the palace. The car parked in front of my room. They said to him, "We need you go in." So come to see. They told me to sit down. They said, "Come to the room." I sat down and they went in with the old man. Mama, come, mama, come away. I didn't hear any noise. I didn't hear anything. But I was all the time listening, thinking, thinking of what's going to happen next. So I was mum, come away. I didn't hear anything. I am made a made a party in town. After some time, he came out. See that? He sat down. I call you. I phone you. You didn't come in. You phone me. You didn't call. I call you. You didn't come in. He said to me, "Well, these people. What they asked me is it the same thing that they asked you?" Then I said to him, "What did they ask you about?" I call you. Phone to you. Most of them don't see who they are. He said to me, "Of the three of us, how is it possible for us to to organize a kudeta here?" Ibrahim, at this stage, where were you? I was also sitting down there. Mm -hmm. And uh, what happened? As you were seated there. What am I never sitting here? I was. I was. I didn't miss any of the catchal. I was saying, "Can you okay, Musa?" He was talking to Musa and narrating what transpired inside. That's what he was telling Musa. Uh, uh, Musa, did anything happen to the old man while inside that room? Musa, for Kusran, do I mean that you came and you never went? What am I never going to come back? No, nothing happened to him because he told me that they didn't beat him. But he said these people are very rude people. And he said they were telling him to take off his hat. I said, oh, that's what they were telling me, telling you. He said yes. I said to well, these people will not end well. Because somebody who uh, 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 is an elderly, whether you are, you are a Muslim or not, a youngster should always respect elderly people. This is how our elders uh, brought us up. Uh, but I said to him, no, 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 okay, let's go and see how these people will end. Uh, did they release you? I mean, no, they didn't leave us. Uh, Ibrahim, what happened next? Ibrahim, I'm not going to go to the court again. I'm at a bulldozer. We are staying there at bulldozer. I'm not going to say this. I'm not going to go to the county. I didn't count the days, but I think. I think we spent two or three weeks and some days there. Where where were you sleeping? Where were you sleeping? I think we spent three weeks and some days there. Where where were you sleeping during that period? What were you going to do? Where were you sleeping? What were they covering? In the long follow from the first the first day. We were on the la palo leto. We spent the night salo nyinto in the palo there in the main palo. We are from within bulldozer from. On the whole, within bulldozer there, the lava bed there is a mold done the dame. There is a place where they put people. A cell mulo mulo. It's just like a cell. But the main keta. But what happened? The blanching flow, a flow to the mud, a mud itale. The 
place has no floor and it was muddy inside Adun there. Asinanta. And it was wet. So you put more later large. Well, they said we, that's where we should go and sleep. Ramela Modo Nata Boyko no Koeko Tata Amadu Nyolja halfway. I think somebody left them and went to Amadu and informed them. Akoe definitely left somebody to Ilada and Jemang ideal there. And he told them that definitely the place where we want to take these people to spend the night, I don't think that place is ideal for them. As the time when they themselves went to inspect the place, then they came and told us that, okay, let's wait for Amadu. So bring Amadu Nata. When Amadu came back, they were inside there and they discussed amongst themselves. So in that na boy do bije kafa alpha bojam phone callum immigration officialum. There was an immigration officer amongst them called Alpha Bojang. Kamban sutumote. Short man. Yo di molla. They gave they they assigned him to us. An in driver. Plus a driver. We bought a motor. We bought a vehicle. We in Samba Celoto. They took us to a cell. Ah, na mera wo four cell ni. I think that four cell. Hmm. Carnifin Carnifin police car Carnifin cell them Carnifin. I think it's in Carnifin. Police post dole be police station or dole be Carnifin balaji. There was a police station just near Carnifin there. Yeah, yeah, Samba Walto. That's where they took us. So kapi wo botala. After that, na na laje fu fano keta. We spend the night there till daybreak. Nata na ngamba. He came back to pick us up. So bring water. After that. Inka daytime katara je katara bulldozer for from morning up to up to let's say eight o'clock now. Eka eight o'clock news kele. I think from then on we used to stay at bulldozer from morning until around eight till after the eight o'clock news. After news time. After news time. Eka na eka ilan samba cell alto. That's the time when they take us to the cells. So when they can samba cell alto. When they are taking us to the cells. Bukala be bukata cell kilimoto. We don't all go into one cell. Eka njan njan dile. They separate us. So do bi je. Sometimes. Nte wengala manjai. Manjai cell. Sometimes I'll spend the night at Manjai cell. Okay, in the auto. That's how we were. Vo fano kana ke kus funko dunto funko twelve midnight. No, around two, three, four mafa. Maybe around two, three or four. Yani fano kake. Before they break. Nato na police officer do JJ. Then I saw one police officer there. Abuta Janjambure, Georgia. He's from Janjambure, Georgia. But he say our tribe is a Manswanka. But he's a Manswanka. Ara fa atere mu station officer TJ. On the whole, he was the station officer there. Otu mo na di amuta. That's the time when I talked. Kai ko lafta di amula na brother le Sidibe, mumu do Sidibe. I said to him, I want to talk to my brother, mumu do Sidibe. Otu mo long I mobile order na. Then he gave me a mobile phone. Janito kana. Before the arrival of our people, I communicated with my brother. Then I told him to tell my people that today I spent the night at Manjai Police. I am a bulldozer. That's the time he told me we looked for you at every place, but we didn't know where you were. In which cells? Uh, have you spent the night during that period? Yela sel jumala kono wato kono. Ngalla Kanifim Kanifim police station la cell auto ngalla je. I spent the night at Kanifim police station the cell there I spent the night in that cell. Ngalla Manjai I spent the night also in Manjai 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 Kunda at Manjai Kunda. Muta je ngalla Bakote police police station or cell phone. I spent the night at a cell in Manjai Kunda Bakote 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 Muta Bakote from Bakote ngalla Kotu police station. I spent the night at Kotu police station. Muta je fara from there ngalla Kairaba station. I spent the night at Kairaba station. Or ni cell all be or all these cells cell all mingera dangerous to Gambia. Cell all bit within this area. The most dangerous cell in the Gambia within this area. What is Kotu cell? That's the cell at Kotu. Because the Kotu cell at Adinkatale. Because the Kotu cell is deep down. Unko ming bunda be dami ani huo be dami puri henda. Where the door is and where the hole is. Abe jamfari santole. Is very far up. 
Ante o kani kan lundi je nka fole ko ni ni mbalu ta bitum wala ni ngalo ko fonde balula fonte balula mbuka wala because whenever uh, uh, i was going down that cell i always think whether i will survive or not and the interest how many times were you taking there to the court cell the court cell gono wari jallam ni ke sambaje ah nte nga first round o ke ngalla court cell na second round o fala My first round I spent the night at Kotu cell and my second round I went to Ngalla Kotu cell wolo fa my second round I also I spent the night at Kotu an wolo fa la fa Musa il a fa Musa le samba la Kotu Kotu cell in fact they wanted to take Musa to Kotu cell bidu ay na la ta o cancel and they cancel that from the balan na non ko ka fa ko because Kotu cell na jelo jebe nyame because I wanted to refuse because I know the way Kotu cell was what mo lon drive on you jolalum because that's the time when did you go la ko nyeko onkul ni mamalu la fa he said to me onkul i'm just a say a say ni mamalu la ni mate la jam if i'm not a say of you when we handle you here in comply ta that's the time when i comply a court cell dal na round follow ke around fla ndaw si ya fla bella la court station twice i spend the night at court station musa did you spend the time no interestingly sorry let me mention this interestingly go ahead ni be mol sambala selolto when they are taking people to these cells and in front of the police station auto when we arrive at the police station kambukle they book us kambuk a red a red pen de lado they book us with a red pen and then they can indicate le incommunicado and what they indicate there is incommunicado nintel be je when we are there wala ma iman sula nintel ni mo moy kachaje they don't want us to talk or discuss with anybody Now, now, now observe. You can, you can book it in red pen. That's what I observed for the all these cells. They book us with a red pen. They are kije in communicado. And they write in communicado there. Musa, yes. did you also make a tour of all these cells in the Greater Banjul area? Musa, I did not find them. Go ahead, Fanan. Get them. Move them. I'm going to go. Yeah, Murun, Murun, Murun. Nini? Cell old bag. I'm going to go. Bring him. See, turn door. Ajamba. Ah, yeah. You find them. Come on, Yeah, that's the same thing was done to me. Uh, first night the first night in some manjai i was taken to manjai jiran tara selo to e station go when we went to the station kono musa ma safe ja musa te ken wa ja they said no this place is not safe for musa musa Ala, cannot be here ara ke ninta da ora but by the grace of allah wherever we go ni manjai ko je if we don't meet somebody from jara there ka fofana ko doje you will see somebody with the soul name of fofana no ko e jakal and they were uh, worried about me so e ko wonta ke waje ko mata kalifi they said i cannot be kept there they said let's go back to kalifi fra kalifi when we came back to kalifi ara na wife bin kirum bo ro sidi fofana and there was somebody called sidi fofana that person is a niece to my wife a nephew to my wife So come to Kotu. They said we should go to Kotu. Bra Kotu, we went to Kotu. So Alpha Bojang, so Alpha Bojang. Eh, station officer ya Adiamura. He went and talked to the station officer. Mara I don't find it. I don't know what the what he told him. Akoye fofana, safa me bete ra bonde. He said to me fofana. The juju you wearing around your waist, take it off. Uh, I hope this is not one you took from my sem. Ngam ne ko remo wala bonni ma sem ko. No. Ako abole nga bonni. He said he told me to take it off then I took it off. Nga fele. I said to him does it here. Ala sha la la. He wanted to put it down. Ka ni ala ni ne me jeyaje. I said to him if you put this down whatever you see it is what will happen to you it will turn into a snake <laughs> then he told me look here is your charm <laughs> is your i took the uh, juju and i tied it on my waist again so police covid police man police man okay go for one they went to go they wanted to leave but the policeman said to me for one okay i found a small for one do you know a fun and small for one anka ndo malam i said to him is my younger brother akonya okay okay no problem he said okay no problem ako fange boy alpha ko a chef de al toilet i said to alpha the man is safe here you just go okoyo ko nakeba 
He said to me, my elder man. Fang is my elder man and we will not have any problems here. He opened the cell. They put me inside. The other prisoners I found in there. The place was smelling with cigarettes, smoke, and also with urine. <laughs> they said to me, what brought you here? I said to them, I just saw myself here. But they said to me, but you are not that kind of people who should be kept here. And the officer had, at that time, the officer had already told me, whenever you want to go to the restroom, just knock the door, I'll open the door for you. Because I observed that those inside the cell, I found, the people I found in there, they used to have a water container. That's where they put their urine in. Some of them were just urinating on the floor. So I locked the door. The man opened the door. He asked me what, I, what is the problem. I said to him, I want to pray the last prayers. He said, okay, come. He said to me, please don't disgrace me. Don't go anywhere. I said, I'm not going to anywhere. After I prayed, I went to him and I told him that I am ready. He said to me, okay, just sit down here. We sat down there and chatted until around 4 or 5. I said to him, open the door, let me go in. These people are mad men. He opened the door and I went inside. Around 8 or 9 months. That's where we were until around 8 or 9 so in the morning. So these people came. They took me to bulldozer. So how many, how many cells did you, did you spend the night in, in the vicinity? I spent the night at Kotu. Kalifin. 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 Station. Kalifin Station. Uh, and bulldozer farm. And at bulldozer itself. Mm. How about Alpha? Pa Alpha. 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 Ibrahim, you get a phone number, you don't know how long for what you do. Bulldoza Konova for Kanu throughout the period of your detention. Lamudon, you are a bacon. You saw for Bulldoza and see Limon Karoki Jamin, one and ten are Juve and Kodal, it may be up to three weeks, four days. Just have for what I can say is that we might have spent two weeks, four, three weeks, four days there. Then later on we were bailed. We were because Minketa. Because what happened? Uh, Kabring Fenke I told him Ahmad Bojan later decide to put sign more bitter than Sambala than hand over the prosecution. Because when Ahmad Bojan decided that we will be handed over to the prosecution. Also one day in fact, I forgot that all the lawyers are opposition already. That was the morning when he was saying that all the lawyers are opposition members. And he said, we will take you people directly to prosecution. We spent almost three to four weeks there. When we were granted bail, we were taken to prosecution. We were we found somebody there. Olem, the head of the prosecution. Olem, uh, uh, that's the head of the prosecution. Unit. State prosecution service or police prosecution? Police uh, prosecution service. I don't know head. That's the head of the police prosecution service. Uh, one Mr. Ture. They call him Mr. Ture. I guess call out of Mounted Amaduti because Kejamula uh, telephone with Jamfatala staff will be. He says, tall man. Because he's a tall man. I, I think he's taller than all members of his staff. Mm. So, I tell him, because when I went to him, 
commandé à l'office au Kono. He called us into his office. Uh, I questioned us. So I called He narrated everything to him. Bring a call be satai. After narrating everything to him, at a phone call moleko, he himself told us that. A konya ko mimbe kering aliyalo mimbe kering. He said to us, "Do you know what's going on?" A konya ko nimbe mu ibe manding call lekeleka. He said to me, "All this they are fighting the mandingers." A konya ko. He said to me, "Mi alnati jang amad bojang." Passing who brought you here, I'm a Lubuja. I call Alia imagine te, a senior man like myself. I am putting on white. I'm a is it LOC or commander? The police would do those who put on white. Well, look a senior man like me. Ako Ahmadu Bodo once called him to tell him that he's going to let him call. He is coming to arrest him. So one day Ahmadu Bodo called him and said to him that he is coming to arrest him. Then he told us later that what I will do is I will provide a vehicle for you. I think the police, police station we first went to, went to. We didn't stop there. I think that day we went so all the way to the Serakunda police station. If I can remember, we started at the Serakunda police station. We all refer for Brikama. Those people referred us to Brikama. Bring for the Brikama. When we reach Brikama, a station officer me found there. We the station officer that we found there. Found on Kaje Ninte J case there. You also said the case. It, it, it is not for that place. They said we should have gone to the police station. They said we should have gone to the Brusubi police station. But more than that, Brusubi police station. At the time we went to the Brusubi police station. So you uh, all, uh, me you all received photo. The person who received us there, uh, one Amadou Keta, was somebody one Amadou Keta. He's also a very tall guy. Also a very tall guy. At the prosecution from OCTJ. Officer in charge, in charge of prosecution there. He is the, in, he is the man in charge of prosecution there. So I'm the old tonga Brusubi fanang Brusubi police station fananga around one month, no uh, one month nyo soto jail some one month some weeks. We also spent one month some weeks at the Brusubi police station. Ni aju be dal or culminatively. If you check the whole thing in the community. Mina three weeks, uh, three months so kela details on okono. We were very close to three months. Because when the police, police station was to me, because when we were at the police police station, Kaboje and Kata Kiti or Bundum Magistrate Court, we live there and go and attend our trial at Bundum Magistrate Court. So sometimes new Amaduketa found until Kabini Dunta Mbulata Adaje. So this Amaduketa, when we went there and met him there, Nata itan diala control man ke criminal onte. We showed him that we were not criminals. Not I tend to that. If I'm more keta more than me alone, can I get him? Because until I leave at Salaji, I just transfer to Salaji to my. Then I showed him that I decided to transfer to my compound at Salaji. Kafa, I come. Kafa, I come. Ila wife, from ila wife, from is a has a is a is a ila wife and in ala sister. Then I told him that your wife and your sister, I love wife and sister. Your wife's sister. Because his sympathy is not only drawn. I love wife and sister. Now I do go to Brookfoot Health Center, and I so that he can have sympathy on me. I told him that your wife's sister once worked with me at the Brookfoot Health Center. Brookfoot Health Center. But all be da la mandang kung. But all that he didn't even listen to me. So until be jere, we were there. At the car, every time someone they find out keta. He is the person every day when day breaks. I come all samba Bundum Magistrate Court. He will take us to Bundum Magistrate Court. One thing more long ago, Mule Aken the special interest to control the case to know. One thing I don't know the reason why he had this special interest in our case. But in Kajele ko ane Amadu nyol ka communicate on phone. Well, we realize that he's always communicating with Amadu on telephone. What were you charged with? You want to be the the alcohol. They may charge me la mo laiko a sedition. They said they 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 charged us with they charged us with sedition. Musa, Musa, do you recall at which stage you were charged? Musa, after after how long? Eh, ilo mudo ni wato kono. Foya alone wato chuma ina na tumiro ta ka day kano daba. Ilo mudo wato. The time when I was in detention, throughout the three weeks you were at Holbrook. 
In fact, I think we saw him this morning here. Now, uh, did you know So all along, at Ablai Fati he was presiding over our case. All along, Ablai Fati was presiding over our case. Was conducting your defence. Oh yes, yeah. he was conducting our defence. Yes. In fact, at the time when I came out, me and Markoy, then he became some, uh, somebody who really helped because us. Because we were going and coming to court mm -hmm. and going back to Brusubi. Because we were going and coming to court and back to Brusubi. But then after the court, Amadou, 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 Amadou Keta was so much interested in our case. Then I later realized that Amadou Keta was so interested in our case. Sometimes for me, uh, uh, from the police motor in for Panta. Sometimes, if the police vehicle breaks down, he will take his own police station. He will take his own vehicle and take us to Bundu police station. I don't mean that Sometimes, when we arrive at Bundu station before the court starts, and what happens when we arrive at Bundu police station before the court starts? Can somebody sell all the photo and do DJ? He will take us into the cell in there also. But we okay, Jeff. We in the time to see the. So that we will wait in the cells until the time comes when we are supposed to appear. The condition of oh, Bundu Fernanda cell condition is one of the worst. And the condition of those cells at Bundu were among the well worst. For the land in Sumunal and in Bull, you can mold a catra mold family mold mill park. Because the place you find feces urine and other things there and sometimes the people who pa are parked I said that said I ain't told but I'm not back I'm not looking at all I'm not looking at it I'm not looking at it I'm not looking at it was it was a terror to us definitely and uh, at, at, at what stage yeah. were you granted bail uh, what was after what? how long I don't know what is in the zim dog on another bail deal because in terms of code nearly one year one year we are going to court for almost one year one year. Yeah. At what stage were you granted bail? At the bail. At the the bail was bail. at, um, like we are going to court with, uh, like I said, it was lawyer uh, Fatih who was conducting our case. So, uh, Fatih and Kido Takang assigned in total for about um, one month, uh, one second month for two months. Uh, second month. Second month. The second month, the second month, the lawyer. Uh, I think it was in the second month when our lawyer was able to grant uh, to make things yeah, so that yeah. the so so events were what happened to your case, Musa. Allah ko na jalaba nyadi le. The case was filed and I find no more. The case was thrown out. When was that? When did that happen? Okay, that was in Jamal. When the new government nara. When the new government took over. How did you feel? We were very happy with that. Because he knew that they were not truthful. And where is Pa Alasan? In Pa Alasan Alim. Ah, what are the problems? Yes, he was alive. Hmm. I saw him. Where is he? Signed up. October on the third of October. He passed away on the third of October. Right. Because when we were in the cell, I saw him crazy. Well, he realized that his feet get swollen. I said to him, because what do you used to tell us is that you are used to walking, and now you don't have that chance to walk. I said to him, so at this place here, you should be walking around as usual. So now, so when he does that walking. Well, the, the, the swelling on his legs goes down a little bit. 
But sometimes his legs will be so swollen that it will be shiny. Uh, Ibrahima, right. how do you feel about all this? It was really difficult. Definitely, Something very difficult. Okay. I felt it, but I, well, what I realized, what I took, is that well, this is this has been destined by Allah. Uh, because nte keta multi mi alonko kavo nema police school or nema muta police. Because I'm somebody who doesn't know anything about police. I've never been arrested or taken to the police. Since I, since I was a young boy, up to the time this thing happened, I saw myself in a problem like this, locking me up. Two to three months. It's something that I was very bad about. It was very unhappy about. But I decided to have faith in Allah. And Musa, Musa do. you also blame God for being put in jail? No, I didn't blame Allah in that way, but whatever happens to the human being, Musa uh, Well, we can say that it was a destination, it was destined by Allah. Because if you look at it, these people are very wicked. And who, and who do you blame? Who is who do you say is the wicked one amongst them? Saide Jumala Jalai Bafala, it will conjure Jumala Jawiati Bacon. Ibrahim John and Ahmad Boja. Ibrahim John and Ahmad Boja. This seven by seven Jambala, Babu Katravale. If there is a third person, Babu Katravale. Because what is the problem of Dintala? Because that's the man who created these problems for me. Lie. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. No further questions for these witnesses. Thank you. Thank you very much, my counsel, and uh, thank you, Mr. Keta and uh, Mr. Fofana, for your testimony. Chairman, uh, in Mbarabake, counsel in Mbarabake, Mr. Fofana, in Mbarabake, Mr. Keta, Allah said, and Mr. Fofana, you didn't bring in any juju with you today. <laughs> I don't want to sit there. He said he tied some. <laughs> that same uh, you do is still with me. Well, but you, you are in a friendly environment here. I can assure you that. But uh, before I turn to the commissioners, if they have any questions to ask you, I just want one small clarification. Uh, from both of you. The name of the commission is the name of the commission. The name of the commission is the name of the commission. I'll take you back um, uh, to the Kanifin South um, Cemetery when you were taken there 3 o'clock in the morning. When you were taken there 3 o'clock in the morning. I was taken there 3 o'clock in the morning. I was taken there 3 o'clock in the morning. I was taken there 3 o'clock in the morning. I was taken there 3 o'clock in the morning. I was taken there when they said they were going to kill you people, the uh, shovels and pickaxes, the things that they took along with them. They said that they were going to kill you people. When you arrive there, were the graves already dug or they were waiting until after they kill you, then they will dig the graves? The, 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 the graves were not dug. Because uh, Because what Amadou Boyan said was, said then when they are killing, they are going to start with me. He will ask me my last word. If I say that, they will break down the door of the cemetery because the door was locked. After they break down the doors of the cemetery, I personally will go and dig my own grave. So after digging it up, if I told he said he was going to break my head, after that they will throw me inside the pit and uh, bury me. That's the time when I said to him, I said to him, Captain, I had this from you, but not from Allah. He said to me, you are a very stubborn person. 
You are only an all of us here, but you are the most rude person amongst us here. He said, but I will kill you like you, you will no more, you will be no more in this world. I said to him, I've heard it from you, but not from Allah. He said to me, Fofana, where are you from? I said to him, Jara Sankuya. At the time he took off his mask, he took, out the, he took out the bullet from his gun and said to me, if I kill you, they will kill me too. I say, he said to me, I am also from Yomi. He said to me, but my bandamate, Go and look for a lawyer. We will take you uh, to the court. After your trial, we will lock you up for life. I said the same thing to him. I've heard it from you, but I didn't hear it from Allah. I said to him, ah, well, now, if you look at things, Allah has done his judgment. That's how, how things happen. Thank you. The second gratification I want is um, when you were with this um, chap um, at the cemetery, did you hear any conversation among them? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What I'm finding a diam the diam with the mountain. I don't know. 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 I ye mol sare ngele ba ye mol fa ko yu lafta tel fa la nyamete yol sare ngie andu nte lafta lo na me mel ngine kan mo male be damento na ra kaburo nyinto mol be bade re ngele mel ya lon ko ko mo mo wala ko lon to man do baton si wol la bula si bula wol la ko wol nom ya fa wa tel le fen ko nyim fo kacha ali amo nyin da man te man man fa man fe mo what the chairman is asking among the themselves the guys who took you there among themselves, their discussions, did you hear anything which will uh, reveal to you that these people, they are used to coming here because it might be possible that some other people were killed, those who disappeared. Uh, maybe they have killed them and buried them inside that cemetery when people were not aware or people didn't know their whereabouts. Uh, so this is why he's asking the discussions among themselves whether you can pick up something from them which will show you that well these people are used to coming here and they've already brought other people here whom they killed and buried here this is what he's asking about blended translation mr money thank you good uh may and you may call it off after one of my someone on the salva the day they wanted to kill us well they the, when they brought us to the main parlor we were there until after the dawn prayers. Very early in the morning. Very early in the morning. One man came there. Soldier A soldier man. When he arrived and greeted us, he asked us, "Are these the corpses that are here?" <coughs> Somebody said to him, "No." He said to him, it is Fofana and Keta. Well, we can sell the killings. I heard that. I witnessed that. But this man who came, this person, I don't know him. Yes. Thank you. Mr. Keta, you have anything to add on to what Mr. Fofana just said? Mr. Keta, you have anything to add on to what Mr. Fofana just said? Mr. Keta, you have anything to add on to what just as Fofana said, does it? Because truly speaking, Malumfo Ndelbe Wato Ndelbe Wato Minto Odlato Karniko Esambadlato Purkatefa. 
because uh, 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 the time we spent there in that time because if they tell you that they are going to take you to somewhere <laughs> and kill you e katara silanya do kono oldo nga jele do bije isabata molle le damma ol bari komi e katara silanya do kono maybe man ila kacha man meje kacha kacha la dal you are always in fear Mm. So because of that fear, mm. sometimes you will not even listen to them. You will not be interested. Mm. So maybe this is why we were unable to pick up what all they were saying mm. at that place. Wat nga jele wati tambi wati wato kono da isabata mol la lun domandi ka ni Musa pareta dia mola da mol kachata. After they discussed with Musa, they went away from us from us but in my distance between us and they were discussing amongst themselves there but ma moy coming for dal but i didn't hear what they were saying at that point that and dundi moto ko ko nga say now as well as the time when they tell, told us to board the vehicles and come back thank you very much indeed commissioner if you have any questions this indicate deputy chair you have the floor chairman no lang ko lafta nyinin ka rokela thank you chair Thank you, Esa. Thank you, Mr. Pufana and I, Mr. Keta. I, I, I chair person, I chairman Numbara, I lead council Numbara, Ako Keta, and in, uh, 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 Musa and in Ibrahim Akali Numbara. Your experience is very chilling. And we're really sorry. I have three small questions. One is not really a question, two questions and one statement. The one is in connection with Pa Alassane. What year did he die? Pa Alassane was born in 1973. He passed away last year on the 3rd of August. 2020. Well, in 2020, Samo. Exactly, yeah. Ah, yes. <coughs> Now the other one is in relationship with the officers from the customs and the immigration. Domo kuleti mentilinta ni molo la molo bata customs na duani bundala ani immigration. One would not normally associate such institutions with people who meet out torture to other people. Mota mira la ko. Do kula lo melo buta ni ndinkira fuloto. Wole sike moti me yalonko wolebe molo mutala ke balajato tajire ya ke tilimbali ya. Yet you have indicated that they participated in your torture. Bari alia nina itandi ko wolele molo ti melo mabeta lao tajire ya to bali dilim bali balo dimendi la tumome. Can one of you please confirm this? Ali mo fuloko no kili ya to nya yandibang menketa. Ah, wode? Yes, on that side. It happened because because I know that if I tell lies here, I will one day be leave this world mm. and I will go to my Creator. I am a Muslim and I know the Quran. I will not come here and tell lies. They did it. They did it. They did it. Because they did it to me. Abuka Trawale, Ibrahim Asise, Ibrahim Asise, Memba Bojang, Memba Bojang, Babukar Singate, and Babukar Singate. Ah, yes. Alpha Bojang, sorry, not Memba Bojang. Alpha Bojang. Not Memba Bojang. Somebody called Alpha Bojang. Memba, who can't remember? He was a Kenya lawyer. He was a lawyer. He was a Memba was somebody who really helped us there. In fact, when they were doing this to us, he was very angry. You can see it in his eyes. He was standing aside and looking uh, 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 very angry. After you call, call our phone, after this whole episode, always whenever he's going for weekends, he will come and park his private around our place and chat with us for some time. But you don't look up But these others, they run away from us. Ah, yes. This is how it happened. Thank you. I wanted this confirmation for the simple reason that we are looking at institutional reforms. Alimbara, ni aja ngani inkumo ni ninka, mbe mira kang anin lafta kolu menu tamandila, wole mkafali monati do kubunda alula. And it is really amazing how people would step out of their normal duties. 
ni keta tere makuti moli simbo ila do kulo ila nyanto ni nyanta mengine ila do kulo la purke blo duli kuna ukolo me ya longo oni la do kwa jamfata nyola to carry out tasks that were not assigned to them purke kulo ke me ya longo ime bula la now the final one is the statement that I want to make kumala ba wole ni lafta kalimu me mfola is that there is much value in our African traditions wole ni nti na mo findu tara kulo kufankama balem afanka yata ba afankama yata ba you have you have described amadu bojang as a very evil person eko amadu bojang mu setani moleti but in spite of his evilness bari analo setani ya be he was able to respect the joking relationship that existed between your two bari brinkas and the jarankas brin ala tabu akala mako ite mu jaranko leti wo 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 sanawiya membe jara ni nyomi tema wo dalilo le yasabu anata falin to the extent that he cancelled your execution hanu fo anata allah faro fa mo bayi i think this is something really commendable for our cultures na mera ni mukuleti mo si jairo ke men nan na adolu la karola that we are able to hanu fo ayake ndi respect them and abide by them ne bunya nka song na adolu tamandila Uh, the the commissioner responsible for reconciliation commissioner memmarata osjalo commissioner jalo memmarata say nyoka mo kenyala i'm sure that he will use this tradition na mira uto abe mulo fan nyi ado lale promote healing and reconciliation uruka mulo murundi nyoka ka yo jisolu njabu ka sondo mulo jara in our country na banko kan thank you very much ala baraka bake thank you Oh sorry yeah go ahead please uh, Amaru Amadu Amomfa physically he is he is not yet dead physically because mm -mm. no Amomfa uh, he didn't kill us physically Musa for him for Karodola but one can say he killed us in, in another way the going to Colorado Colanza Amombano because I was building a compound but up to now I cannot complete it Nadino fa la fe karam min ka nyaama ma keno nyaama because my kids or my children also the way I wanted to educate them uh, I, I, I was unable to complete Nadin kam man ni fla nyaama fa be jaam molam fofa my second son mod lamin fofa na is even here ah to be sanyi moni nan is 24 years old now nadin muske wa june on the third over 27 shortla my elder daughter june 27 uh, will she will be 27 years in june ko june kar saba june kar til juma ah june on the third june on the third she will be 27 years old ha laf se karam me ke the way i wanted to educate them ma karam ke na nyama they were unable to uh, go ahead with that education for now for la di senegal do la ni karola this is the reason why i took mod laben and gave it to one senegalese who taught him how to become how to become a tailor uh, karolo sifa bero he can do all types of sewing la fa machine for sanai warin se mo maro i wanted to buy a sewing machine for him but i cannot do it because i'm not working so no farmara my daughter fatumata na yo ko to be grade 12 bang they all completed grade 12 la fa yo sinke i want them to do nursing baraka la fa furula but she said she wanted to get married so i knew that if i don't allow her to get married that's going to be sinful for me so then with the help of Allah, she got married i come my nose so killing carry war and jam boko no she has a son one year seven months now you are muta buni my house or almost a half year is almost halfway ni ata no bulldozer en conte if had it not been for this bulldozer problem because of corona la la kama because the money i kept aside for that building structure ni be banna finish ni be laje the structure will be completed and it will be only the finishing touches that will be left But because of this problem turning na nam so gor mon la la bero because of this problem going and coming my wife was running to every place dumba samaya ande be kasoro the way that she was taking care of the family i was in jail koro be tara in vain all the money went away in vain ah ani sa mbel wa so ni ali old to jail ni ali 21 years mbel wa so la oh to this date i'm still renting about 21 years now 
I'm still renting. I got a compound at Yuna, but still far from completion. No, do do no. Well, my that building, and at that the same time, uh, Keta was also a uh, uh, building. I'm not going to start out those. There was a day. I think that's how everything started because there was a day. It was my day off. It was my day off. So when I broke, I was on the video. I went to my house. The people were walking there, and I took a video of the building. I showed it to Mr. Keta. Because I used to go to him, go with him to his compound at Salaji. He's not far away from us. He said to me, ah, on the whole, you are also trying very well. You are doing little by little. I said, yes, I'm also on it bit by bit. So the following day, the following day I went to work. After that, I was off. So after that, when I was off on, the, on a certain day, he said to me, I said, well, I'm really worried. I asked him, what is the problem? He said to me one day, Abraham, Abraham John opened the door and showed me a mobile. And he said to me, uh, do you think we are the only people building? Look at my building, I'm also building. It was after this that all these bulldozer, bulldozer problems came in. This is how it happened. Yeah. Uh, thank you. As soon as if you have any um, further questions. Oh, please go ahead, um, uh, Mr. Keita. Mr. Keita, I'm going to ask you a question. Very good. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. Because Amadou Bojan's uh, uh, issue and the problem we found ourselves in, it, it became a very, very serious setback for us in our life in this world. Just as the lady said, Amadou Bojan killed us but still while we are still living. Because as for me, since we, 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 we came out of this problem, my hypertension developed. I developed hypertension. My diabetes developed. I developed diabetes. Up to the, the amount of money I spent on these problems is endless for me. Dr. Ahmed Seka, what is following diagnosed diabetes now? It was Dr. Ahmed Seka was the first person who diagnosed me for diabetes and hypertension. And in, uh, one Dr. Dafe also at the SOS Modern Child Clinic. And one Dr. Dafe at the SOS Modern Child Clinic. That's where I used to work. So in Cabrin Water. So since that day. Sometimes they used to admit me and they will tell me uh, your sugar level has really gone up. They stopped me from eating sugar. I don't know the sweetness of sugar nowadays. I depend on this thing. That's what is sweet. Well, if uh, you look at it, like, I am going to kill those when we are alive. I you my mum for you. My doctor, Ahmad Sek. What my doctor Ahmad Sek told me. I can you call? In fact, you are told. You condition or drum pour cal samba bade koto katalfa. This condition. Katalfa. Just taking you to the cemetery, saying that they are going to kill you. Oh, ole he a sabu fang ali nyin kura ol fang nyin kura of inti table. That was the shock which made you people to develop these uh, uh, problems. Me da me ni obo kuyarene. Where I am, I'm very unhappy because be found Janin Kadun Nanjang. Because today, even before coming in here, paramedics mean Bija Afa introduced the paramedics who, the, who, who are here. In fact, the man introduced himself to me. And I later, Kabrin Dunta for second half, Kafon Yako, oh, Chief, you did not, uh, why didn't you disclose yourself? Okay, no, I know, I never wanted to disclose my identity to you first. Yeah, I'm going to go to Dunta Nanjang, I'm going to go to Nanjang, I'm going to go to Nanjang, I'm going to go to Nanjang. Because I'm not blood pressure that moment. Uh, my diastolic pressure was over 115. Because when he took my blood pressure, um, my, my, my level was above 115. 
the level that they looked at to indicate that you are hypertensive. That's the level they look at to show that you are hypertensive. And I know as a medical personnel. And I know as a medical personnel. I can even walk out from here and then collapse and die. At the same spot. I don't And 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 this was caused by the action of Ahmed Bojang and others. Molmiye Samba Bade Koto. People who took you to the cemetery and uh, say, telling you that they are going to kill you. This is why I said nobody can make that look pretty. Definitely. Definitely. He killed us, but still we are alive. It is important that we try to make uh, this point clear. And it's very important. Ahmad Bojan killed us, and we are alive. <coughs> As just Musa has said, we were building. We went in a very bad way in our compound. Because all the money we had, we gave it to the lawyers. And when we were under detention, our people were going up and down, going to the Marabus. And I, I, I told damage like completely. It completely damaged us. Nikumu, if, if anything to go by, we are, we are alive, uh, but we are just uh, uh, alive, just living by. So, Amadu Bojan na quote ni nyandi no la jam. So nobody can can uh, make Amadu Bojan's actions. Uh, 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 I found it very necessary. Wala na na jeko. Uh, it is very important for us to come here and narrate our story. Because in for what in the victim center, in the phone statement of the journal. Because we gave our statements at an early stage at the victim center. But what happened was that we didn't hear anything about us. What in what in Musa Kanaja. Sometimes, time to time, I come here with Musa. For Alatata, the last week, Prince Natajan, in a very careful covering break, get a room in the Baba Sahobe, in the Baba Saho, a Fenke Kanja. Until when, during one of our trips to come here, it was the day that Baba Saho was testifying. In a very careful cutting, Sutiata Esafal. We tried and went near Esafal as much as possible. Because in the Kundin killing on the very Kanif in South, I know that Esafal is a brother. Uh, myself, I was living at Kanifin South, and I knew that Esafal is a brother. And he knows my late brother very well. And he knows, I know, I am, I am badding along many Tambita. Because Gambia is a small country. At Gambia, Mubankundineti. My late brother was moving with Esafal's brother. So this is why I said to myself, let's go nearer this place and try uh, by all means so that our case will come up or else why they might leave us behind. Since these people did this to us, they all ran away from us just as Musa said. It was that man, Bemba Bojang, it was Mbemba Bojang who disclosed to us that we were going to be killed that night. Who may I turn into Lakatamfa? Is the very person Nakata Gunjur for uh, Akata weekend la Gunjur. If the same person whenever he's going for weekends to Gunjur, I be low and to build or in Dama and Conton Nai Kachaduman in five, ten minutes I nata. He will stop at our place, chat with us for some time, order than that send greetings and he will let her go. Order than that. Other than that, more economy along Kovi, Kabinian Kuo Hapunta, we set an eye on them. There's no one amongst them after this whole thing, there was no one amongst them who we, we usually see around. One Ibrahim Sise, Ibrahim Sise, he was the very person I set an eye on once. It was Ibrahim Sise whom I saw only once. I wanted to fight him. I wanted to fight him. He has to run and then enter a car. He ran away and went into a car. The second time I met him, the second time, Senior Flanja Benta, 
I met him at Karang. I was going somewhere in Senegal. Mita Karang Senegal. Mita in Jedron Karang. We were police station. Don't do Tanga Jedron. When he saw me at Karang at the police station, when I went singlet to ball. and he saw me, he was wearing a singlet. He ran again and entered into the police station. He ran and I aborted the police station. My friend, he he is running away from me. I, then I, I informed my friend that he is running a kaburin telelate. Ibrahim John, Nene Maje, we never set an eye on him. Ibrahim John, Nene Maje, I never set the an orders eye on him. The orders again for Momo, Nene Ma Momo je nyala. And the orders also, I never saw any one of them again. I don't believe that when you start, when you start. No, no. This country is very small, and I believe that some of them see us, but the moment they see us, they decide to hide themselves. So to quote, uh, quote it short, Burka Suti Andi, Amadou Yentol Fale Mbe Baluri. We are alive, but Amadou has already killed us. If anybody wants to make that, then you are not pre 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 you know, doing justice. On us, then a munta a mantra in Telumaco can back so until Batata Bakele. We suffered really. Olanda and Fintita and Fayita. This is why we came out to to show ourselves. At the, at the moment, in Tembeng, Victim Center, Kujamal Kakije. Victim Center, there are many things that happen there. If the mall command like a compensate, they treat them medically. They call people, compensate some of them, and give them medical treatment. So, Mam Feng Kalamuta quote. We were really even aware of what was going there. Nile kak happen Gambia. This is what happens in the Gambia. So, until until Benjamin, where we are living, until La Kebal Bota na Mali nyol ma fa na relationship man warajang. Our forefathers came away from around Mali. We have very small, we have very little relatives living here. Kabam punyo ko ma be criminal or be sulu saji ma ma koila. We help uh, each other and hiding behind uh, sheep's in wolves, uh, uh, wolves in sheep's clothing. What a mall mark will do. That will not help us. I remember na kumo danta jam. I will stop here. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, all. Thank you very much. Um, since there are no, oh, um, yes, Bishop, you have the floor, please. Bishop, odiko lafta nyin karola. Thank you, Chairman. Ako nyin bara Chairman. Mr. Ibrahim Aketa and Mr. Musa Fufana. Ako Ibrahim Aketa and Musa Fufana. We are extremely sorry that you have to go through such an ordeal. Ako nyin keta balafati alsi haketu alidunta nyin yon kukola No one would have imagined. Mote nyin mira la nung. That our own brothers would treat our brothers in such a manner. We are sorry that that has happened to you. Um, uh, to of you, your friends. With two different occupations. And um, what I want to know, um, how are you doing? Are you still in uh, that occupation? Or what are you doing for living at the moment? Left a minute, no, well, I mean, I'll be able to do a cool can bang, puruka long, well, assign, I'll communicate, puru, I'll be able to do a as for me, Musa, according to Musa Fofana, he said he is not doing any work nowadays. Uh, 11 months, I have been sitting down for 11 months. Because of Corona. Uh, if I try anywhere to look for a job, I don't get it because of this Corona. Uh, yes. As for me, I am working. Why I am lucky and still working up to date is because I am not working in the government. But at the same time, but at the same time, whatever I get as a working chance, whatever I earn nowadays from any kind of work, I spend it all on my health. Thank you. Commissioner Ka, you have the floor. Commissioner Ka, for another challenge in Kala. Thank you, Chairman. I call Nimbara Chairman. And thank you, Mr. Fofana and Mr. Keta. I call Nimbara, Mr. Fofana and Mr. Keta. For your testimonies. I listen to Kanasi Adearola.
I want to join my colleagues to say sorry to what happened to you. A kalafta hat kafula a komisona dolu ma kafale alisi haketu. Um, I just have one question for both of you. In kar klinne ba bulu pratel mu flobe. What? The first is especially to Mr. Keta. Follow, follow, pull Mr. Keta le moti. You mentioned that you are you are detained at various detention centers. Any muta ko ye muta tumu mena ye sindi dinkira jamal leto. Do you remember the duration of those uh, detentions? For e hakelo sa muta le. We muto mu me obe kono ay wati je leta tilije lu karije lu onso. Yes, I have been following the bulldozer. What I said before, when we were at bulldozer, I have been carrying. They were not much of a catchaka. No, I have been carrying. I have been on local service catering. I have been carrying two weeks. No, so far. I think, as we were saying, maybe I said three weeks or so. But after talking with Musa, it was one month, three days. Around. But I just entered the Brussels bus station. From there, we went to Bruce B Station where we were detained. We spent nearly two months at the We spent nearly two months at the Bruce B Station. That was the time when we were to going to When we were going to court at the Bundung Magistrate's Court. We were going up and down. Janning be bail or something like. Before we were uh, uh, before we secured bail. Ah. Perhaps just to lend some little clarity to that, the witness stated that during their stay at Holgam, they were made to be spending the night at different police stations. Mm -hmm. So this night they will be taken to Carnifing, another night they will be taken to Bundung, another night. Oh, and they are separated. One would spend the night in Bundung, one would spend the night at Koti, one would spend the night at elsewhere. Thank you. Hello, Barak. Thank you very much, Emma. With no questions, Emma, from the Commission, if you have uh, concluding remarks to make, Emma, please proceed to do so now. Sir, I'm aware the Commission has been doing a lot of work. I'm aware the Commission has been doing a lot of work. I'm aware the Commission has been Start with you, Mr. Keta. I'm aware the Mr. Ibrahim Keta. I'm aware the Commission has been doing a lot of work. I'm aware the Commission has been That young woman Tessiala Bake. I will not say much. My narration will not be long. That is important. We are all indigents of this country. And uh, working for your country in development is everybody is incumbent on everybody. What we should do. Let's try and do away with tribalism. Because the former regime, that's what they were trying to introduce into this country. Because Gambians, what we were used to, what we knew was intermarriage between the tribes. Fulas marrying with Mandinkas. Manding ko fana e photo. Jo last marrying with manding kas. Saying kabrin yung ko keta. But since after these things happened, puta ta tembe dato. We went up to a level or up to a stage. Ani jo last fall man la manding ko la saying. Now the jo last don't trust manding kas anymore. Bu ante fang kundi unin jo last don kachata. Because myself personally, I discussed with certain Jola people. But in Ajay, who who to more land no member Jola ni manding call from Tema land no from Talata from Hatijele from. I realized that formally the trust between Mandinkas and Jolas, my discussion with those people showed me that that trust doesn't exist anymore. So memo quote. What is important at this stage? Mandinko fulo Jola. Mandinka fulo Jola. We all own this country. Alinga nyomuta. Let's try and uh, accept each other and work and develop our country. What has happened has happened. Then you see another new page. Let's open a new page. Let's take one another and let's try and unite to work this country, to develop this country. Let's forget 
bygones become bygones so uh, that's what i that's what i'm uh, that's what i'm going to uh, that's what i can say here thank you thank you very much thank you very much mr keda chairman you have the floor Chairman, can you remember Mr. Keda saying, "Musa Fufana ifanan silo saying between Bunda Elite." Chairman, be condola. I am extending greetings to Chairman. Be condola, be condola. Greetings to all commissioners. Lead Council, I am on board. Be condola. Greetings to Lead Council and all his people. Gambia Buntalde. Gambia belongs to all of us. Be tamu. We are all our own this country. We are all from the same mother and father. Let's accept each other. Let's unite and throw politics away. When it is time for elections, vote anywhere you want. But after voting, go home and sit down. Let's do that. Let's uh, bring our children in a, in a right way. Let's teach them what is good. That's what I can say here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, again, thank you for coming to testify before the Commission. Chairman Kuala Lumbara Koteke, Alison Kapurkana, Sedearo, La Commission, Nyati Limula, Abali Lumbara, La Wakama. And uh, as the other commissioners had said, we are truly sorry that you had to endure so much in the hands of uh, agents of the state of the Gambia. Kwa komisyon na luli yafo nyamin, nyinketa balafati alisi haketu, mfangulu la banko do kulalu, muna mansa kula do kulalu, wele nata kemuluti, mene hatelu dundi ni manto rokono. And uh, Mr. Fofana, I don't think it's um, uh, too late for your daughter to pursue her ambition career in nursing. Mr. Fofana Malla la Tardeta, Puridim Muso, Alafta Menkelanum Kakin Nosoti, Amantarde Hanimbi Asako Nomanole. And uh, um, if God created marriage, as you said, you had an obligation to marry your daughter off. Ah, why are you Alafoli Futuoda? You might have fallen in Yantoli Tilalum Kundunulem, Kajako Yedino Futundi. He also created the education and career. But at the Alakilimule Fanae Lundo da Animbu Kul Murka do Kulmenke. For to allow her to become independent um, on her own and not dependent on a man. Puruka Bula Osilosa Marco Isaja Fanansa Fan Sambano Aya Fanta Ula Fisiala Ayala Dunu Bela Ake Makan. The Imams are here, I wouldn't um, talk um, uh, too much in their presence. But I don't think um, God would have punished you if you had allowed her to go on to um, uh, nursing school. But in Malala Alabete Fanang Mutala Nunke Mantora Bnisontanu Niabula Nunatata no Skaramuto. Again, thank you very much indeed, um, for Sorry, no, come on, no, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. A quick place. Uh -huh. Is well, our problem was with the security forces. And I know Amadu very well. He lives at Sukuta Nemasu and I also live in Sukuta. Because I'm worried about what has been said about him here. They might think of doing something. That's what I'm thinking about. Amadu who? Amadu Juma, Amadu Bojang, Amadu Bojang, Lieutenant Colonel Amadu Bojang. Well, thank you for raising this particular issue. Ulumbara yeni kumu mengulin deteng. We, the commission, would reiterate what it said previously with regards to other witnesses. Umesongo beni saying kana yememfunu sede dol lakumoto. The witnesses who appear here are witnesses of the commission. Sede dol menu finti sejang ulube muni komisongo la sede dol leti. Any person who attempts to interfere with the witness is interfering with the witness of the commission. Mo womundi yekuulindi sedo lukama amunta sila yekuulindi commission la sedo lekama. That would not only amount to contempt of the commission proceedings. Amunta utedan la nyinda manto de kafu yuto ta commission wenyi nale. But would also amount to interference. And could possibly implicate other violations of the law. And as So while uh, we warn Amadou, Amadou Dandalala, 
or rather we advise Amadou. Walambaya Marila at Amadou. And all other individuals. Anumbo Kotengo Lube. Who may be tempted to take the law in their own hands. Nono sinim mutapurka lwa atai falulu bulo kono. Uh, to reflect and desist from such activities. We say mira. As uh, any unlawful conduct would be taken very seriously by this commission and would be met with the full force of the law. The commission would pay full attention to what is happening to the witnesses. And we do hope that... Uh, all concerned would uh, would uh, respect the law and would not take any untoward steps towards this witness. But equally, I encourage the witnesses to report to the commission any action they deem suspicious. Or any actions taken by any individual which may amount to a violation of their rights. Wala mo mundi yaku sambali kang mensike alanyanta tiyadi alikanasi akwala aliena komisoto. The commission is watching very keenly. Thank you very much. Thank you for, yeah, no, I'm coming to you, I'm coming to you. Just give me a second. Um, uh, uh, thank you, Council, for issuing that reminder. It's absolutely important from time to time that we remind the public about um, the points that you raised. Thank yeah. you again very much. Um, Imam, I hope I didn't provoke you. No, no you Go ahead, please. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Chair. Uh, I'm Imam, Imam Jallo left a film for our I'm very much concerned. I'm very much concerned. Your daughter intended to be a nurse. Or some other, other medical personnel. I own a high school. At Bruford. Remember Bruford. Called Ali Badrajallo Memorial Senior Secondary School. Ali Badrajallo Memorial Senior Secondary School. It's named after my late son who died 27 years ago in the United States after <laughs> achieving his degree. Na to la ndigo la ala me minji do ya nu America sanji mu anu woro la komando bari wa yatara karanta hanu fo ayala karamu makamu soto. I have a scholarship that I have ex I'm always extending to people who are in this situation. And if your daughter is interested in continuing her education, our good brother there, if you have anyone who wants to do high school education, that is grade 10 to 12, that is for the two witnesses present here today. You can get in touch with me, and they will get a free scholarship. And the scholarship to complete their secondary education. It's never late. I did my all levels when I was 28 years of age. So it's never late. And I went to university. And thank God. So please, if you have people who are in this situation, I'm willing to support. Thank you. Thank you. Shukran Saida Raiz. Today I promoted you. <laughs> that. Thank you so much. It was very kind of you indeed. <laughs> Council, are we um, ready with this afternoon's witness or this is it for today? We are due for lunch break, Mr. Chair. For lunch break after that? Yes, and okay. no further witnesses for today. Thank oh. you. <laughs> Thank you. So we come back at um, uh, half past three. Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. Thank you. Meeting is adjourned. Mr. Chair, hello, hello.
Zambia may be the smallest country in Africa, but it will host the second largest gathering of world leaders in 2022 to successfully host the OIC summit and put the